I'm Elfira from Miko School and today I'm going to tell you a story about the wild swans. Once upon a time, there were a widowed king with his eleven sons and one daughter, Eliza. They lived happily in a beautiful castle. One day, the king decided to marry again. But the new wife, however, was an evil witch. She turned the eleven princess into swans and sent them far away. She makes Eliza unrecognizable by turning her face and ripping her dress. Even her own father no longer recognized her. So he chased her out of the castle. Eliza ran into the dark forest. Now she was all alone in the dark forest. At the morning, Eliza came to a calm lake. She was shocked when she saw her reflection on the water. But when she had washed her face, she was the most beautiful princess under the sun. After many days, Eliza finally saw eleven swans playing on the water. She immediately recognized her enchanted brothers playing on the water. At day, the swans flew away, and at night, they snuggled up together in the cave. One night, Eliza had a strange dream where her mother told her she should knit a shirt from a stinging nettles. However, she was not allowed to tell anybody or else her brothers would die. So Eliza set the work immediately and knit the shirt tirelessly. One day, a prince came along riding with his horse. The prince saw Lysa and immediately approached her. As they looked into each other's eyes, they fell in love. The prince lifted Lysa onto his horse and rode the horse together to his castle. And of course, Lysa had not forgotten about her brothers. Liza continued working tirelessly every evening. One night, when Liza went out to the cemetery to gather some fresh nettles, however, she was watched by the treasurer. The treasurer was anything but pleased with her with her arrival. His own daughter was meant to become the princess bride. Soon as the prince left on a hunting trip, the treasure had Eliza thrown into the dungeon. He claimed that Eliza was a witch who met with other witches at night. At dawn, Eliza was fetched by the guards and was about to get burned at the marketplace. No sooner as she arrived there, when suddenly eleven white swans came flying towards her. She quickly threw the shirts over each of the swans. Shortly after that, her, the brothers stood before her in human form. The sibling embraced Eliza with joy as the prince returned. At last, Eliza could explain everything to him, and the prince had the treasurer thrown into the dungeon. They celebrated the wedding for seven days. The end. The wild swans is just not a story. It's a lesson. It's a beacon of hope that reminding us that even in the face of despair, 
Love and courage can make miracles happen. And with that, dear listener, the story ends. But remember, as you drift into dream, remember about the wild songs that love brought them home. Thank you.